Hey guys, Ricky here. Welcome back to the John Deere Garage. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video. It's just our business is starting up for the season, so I've been really busy trying to help get mulch into flower beds and do yard cleanups and stuff. And another big project we have going on is we're building our new workshop. It's a 50 by 80 building. It's really big. Um... We're making some good headway on that. It should be done within the next maybe week or two. Depends on the weather. Um, we're actually going to work on that today. So before we do, I figured I'd come out and grab a quick video for you guys. Um, I'm doing a video on garage inventory. Uh, something else moved back in here. Uh, I brought the 110 back home. It was at my mother's house for the last eight months. I was storing it there because of that snowmobile issue I had mentioned in one of my previous videos. That video was a while ago. It was from like September I moved it there. So that wasn't really... Was it eight months ago? Yep, it was eight months ago. So anyway, I asked my dad if I could bring it back here and put it next to the 140. And he said, yeah, sure, just... You gotta clean up the garage a little bit, which is understandable. The damn thing's almost up against his toolbox. It just, um, it's hard for this garage to be organized right now because we have to run our landscaping business out of it because our shop is not up yet. But once the shop's up, all that crap you see over there, including these two X marks, is going up there. Except the four-wheeler, which is under this green tarp right here. Let's stay in. Anyway, so, yep, there's the 110. It hadn't been started in, a, in about a month until the day I brought it up here because I've been in quarantine and I haven't been to my mom's because she works at the local hospital and she's dealing with this right now. She said she doesn't have any people that have it on the part of the hospital she works at, but... That could be floating around in the air in that building. And I just want to say thank you for your hard work, Mom. I'm very proud of you. Keep it up and stay safe if you're watching this video. Um, so, yeah, it fired right up. The battery wasn't even the slightest bit weak. Um, all I did was choke it and give it a little bit of throttle, and she cranked right up. So I guess I can start it up for you now. Choke it. guys 110 runs um <laughs> you saw the video of me giving it giving it its first start in six plus years a story with this tractor is i got it from my doctor well actually my dad's doctor now that i think about it and he just gave it to me because they were getting a new mower um he wanted me to have it because he know i'd take care of it um, the story is his father gave it to him, and it was really special to him. I guess his father bought it brand new back in 1972. That's, I think that's the year of this tractor. I looked up the serial number, but nothing came up. So, anyway, there she is, sitting along the side of the 140. I'd start the 140 up for you, but the battery is junk in it. And the starter's rough. I gotta get the starter rebuilt. And uh, there's the 318 over there. The thing's giving me trouble again. I don't even want to look at this tractor anymore. <laughs> to be honest with you. About sick and tired of working on it. So the problem it is having now is going to get fixed by the dealer. Because I've got about that much patience left for this tractor. Which isn't very many. So it, it runs and it drives but... It, it gets squirrely sometimes, like, I have to turn the throttle, like, almost up to right about there to turn the blades on. Actually, more like right there. Because it is having a charging issue, like I keep mentioning in my videos, where if you turn the blades on with the idle all the way down, or a little bit up like you're supposed to, 
they'll come on and shut right back off. And the same goes for the drive lever. Oops. Take it out of gear with the throttle down, it dies because it's not charging right. I've had a couple people in the comments tell me that it could be the regulator. Um, that's on the engine. I don't know if you can see it with the side panel on, but the hood open. It's it's this thing right here. You can't really see it, but it's those two, those white plugs right there. They are attached to the voltage regulator. So, when I got this engine rebuilt for a reason I do not understand, it's actually, let me open the hood back up. The plug for the main wiring harness, the guy who rebuilt my engine decided to take a prong out of it. I don't know why, like I said. But I had to do some fixing to get it to run right. And maybe that screwed it up. Alright, let's open the hood for a third time because I keep forgetting to show you guys. We just hit six hours, so it's time to do another oil change because they got brand new parts in there. They changed the oil at three hours last time. With a normal engine, if it's not a fresh rebuild, you're supposed to change it every 50 hours on that tractor. It says it right on the serial tag on the engine. So, yeah. Anyway, got the LP180 all set for the season, engine-wise. The back's still over there in a pile. That thing's probably just going to end up going to the scrapyard. Those, those Freedom decks are just absolute garbage. It's a mulching deck, so you can't even spit the grass out. So, in thick grass, you're in trouble. You gotta go, like, snail speed just to get through it. But she's running strong. It's still surging a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to pull the carb again. But it does run. And 140 runs, as you saw the 110 runs. And even that piece of shit runs. <laughs> so, yeah. Here's some pictures from me bringing the 110 home, guys. Okay guys, you just saw some pictures of me bringing the 110 home. Um, it was loaded on the trailer right behind the 318. The 318 wasn't down at my mom's. I had brought it down there for the day to do some work because none of my other tractors are strong enough to do this. Well, except for one tractor, but <laughs> that tractor needs an engine rebuild too. Um, that's actually up at our other property. I'll get some pictures today and maybe a video. That tractor's been up there about as long as a 110 has for about six years. That tractor is bulletproof. It is a Simplicity 7117. I believe it is a 1984. Um, I've got a shit ton of attachments for it. By shit ton, I mean three. <laughs> I've got a plow for it, a tiller, and a mower deck. Actually, I think I've got something else, too. Nope, never mind. That's our little Simplicity Regent. I thought I had a snowblower for it, but it goes on a different tractor. So, I brought the 318 down there to pull stumps, and it wouldn't do it. I thought out of every tractor John Deere made, the 318 would do it. I was wrong. Well, these stumps weren't even that big either, except the roots to them were about as big as round as that gas cap, I'm not even lying. <laughs> they were seriously that big, I had to cut them with an axe, because my little duckbill loppers weren't cutting it. So, the 318 wouldn't pull them out, it was just spinning in the grass, and then I tried pulling it on the pavement, 
and it was still spinning and I didn't want to spin too much because these are the original Goodyear tires on the back and I didn't want to make them go bald. What I really want to do is I want to find a spare set of rims for this tractor front and back and on the front I want to run V61 five rib tires and on the back I want to run Carlisle True Power tires. Those are the ag tires. And someday, if this stupid quarantine ever ends and this coronavirus gets the hell out of here, I wouldn't mind attending PA Plow Day. I'm going to eventually try and get a three-point hitch for my tractor here and get me a one-bottom plow to go to Plow Day with. So, yeah, that's cool. And as for the 110, this tractor is probably just going to be a put around at show tractor take it to shows and just drive it around because it's it's old it that's its original seat not that there's much left to it but it is still attached to the seat pan on the bottom up for up here and oh, no way here's the little washer I was missing I thought I lost that <laughs> it was in the crack it goes on all the bolts right there, as you can see over here. I couldn't find it, so I had to throw a different washer on there, but there it is. Stick that on there when I get some time. Unfortunately, somebody drilled holes in this tractor's hood, so they could open the hood like this. Because they're lazy. So... I'm going to get some Bondo and try to fill those. <clears throat> I don't know if it'd stick to fiberglass, though. I've never really used Bondo. Because <laughs> I haven't had to patch anything, because I take care of my stuff. <laughs> but, anyway. It's it's all original, except uh, this is new paint. I already painted that a few years ago. Because I just... It actually kind of looked like that right there. So I wanted it to look good. And this was black. The belt tensioner. <clears throat> I repainted the trailer hitch too. So this tractor still got the original sale sticker on it. It came out of Ravenna. I think that's how you say it. Ravenna, New York. Yeah company there there's the other sticker what is this sticker I don't know but yep she's all original I think it's got the original back tires and as you can see the front tires aren't original but those are two tire treads that John Deere used on the 100 series. They use this tread and I believe they use the Goodyear's. Um, I think this tire is original. I think this one was replaced. The 140 is sitting on its original back tires, but the front ones were replaced. Same with the 318. Original back ones, front ones were replaced. So, Anyway, on the plus side, the grass is starting to green up nice in my area. So we should be mowing here in a couple weeks. Finally, can get some mowing videos of that 318 right there. I have not cut grass with that tractor since 2018. That was two years ago. Just because of that engine rebuild. So, get some mowing videos on that. Um, the 110's got a deck. But I'm not going to mow with it because the deck is just absolutely garbage on it. It may look fine, but it's hiding a bunch of stuff. Like, the belt's missing. That, or the drive belt, not the blade spindle belt. What I'm trying to say is the belt that sits in here is there, but the belt that drives the blades is missing had it but I lost it 
and that's the reason I'm not gonna mow with this tractor because of this right here and it cracked all the way up and the sheet's broken the hinge is busting on it so this is probably gonna be a pulling tractor as long as well as my 111s that I have those 111s are actually back there now behind the garage you might be able to see them through the window yeah you can see the fender pan to one of them they're under those tarps over there that's going to create a problem have to tape that up so it breaks your neck on it so yeah that's probably gonna be a pulling tractor i don't know about the 140 i have a deck for the 140 but is there's nothing left to it the only thing that it has on it is the spindles there's no blades the deck is pretty much all rotted it's bent the metal's weak so I gotta get a new deck for that thing if I wanna mow with it. Um, I do have the original mule drive to the tractor and it's right there. And the cover for it is around here somewhere. Yes, right here. There's a cover for it. It's pretty bent and it's missing the decal, but oh well. Put that under there with the tractor. So, yeah, the 318 is probably going to be my main mower this year. Um, and the 111s, I'm going to get those running and probably use those on my smaller yards. Well, I don't know though. They don't, actually I think they got bigger decks than the 110 here. The 110 I believe has got a 38 inch deck and I believe those 111s have 42s. I gotta get back to you on that one, but I'm pretty sure. And the 110 needs a new exhaust canister because every time you start it, it moves. I got that U-bolt there as tight as I could get it and it still won't hold the canister on. One time when I was working on the 110, when I got it running after sitting, I took the exhaust off so I could get at the governor linkage because that was sticking and when I put it back on I forgot to tighten the U-bolt so I started the tractor and the exhaust canister shot across my garage well not across my garage it came out to about right here my foot is as I didn't have any of this business on it but yeah, I gotta get a new one. It was welded here. It was boogered up on the bottom because it rotted. And I actually tried to straighten this little flat spot in it and make it round again. And I actually broke this off. It is hanging on by like a little weld at the bottom. So that could probably go any day now. But this tractor's even got its original battery holder in it. It keeps coming loose for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just rusty and I can't tighten it very tight. And I do have to get a return spring for my brake pedal because you push it in and it stays pushed in. Well, enough to keep the brakes engaged. It does spring back out kind of, but this is what it's supposed to do. <clears throat> and... That's pretty much all I'm going to do to this tractor. I'm going to try and find a new seat for it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we just hit 54 subscribers. Never in a million years would I thought we'd get there. So that's awesome. Let's keep that going. Let's see if we can get to 100. We're, we're over halfway, so it, it's possible. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys.